So if you're anything like me and the clients I serve, you are riding around in this thing a lot and then sometimes get stuck in the car when the littlest one falls asleep. <laughs> I'm not driving, by the way. So listen, the thing is, we're in this a lot, running to and from school, work, errands, you name it. But when we get home, if we don't have a plan, we're stuck. We don't know what's for dinner. And a lot of times we cave for that convenience food or that drive through that's calling your name because we don't know what to make. Well, I'm going to share with you today a recipe that is about eight minutes of hands-on time. We'll be on the table in less than an hour and taste amazing. It's another chicken dish that you are going to love. So if this resonates with you, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, but more importantly, y'all hit the notification bell. I come out with a new video every week and I promise you don't want to miss it. My name is Jen Rivas. I'm a health coach, holistic nutritionist on a mission to do three things, show you how to eat better, cook less, and raise healthy kiddos. Let's get to the recipe. Okay, so to start, I've got my skillet or saute pan over medium high heat. I'm going to add in about a quarter cup of olive oil and about four to five minced uh, cloves of garlic. We love garlic in our house and oh my gosh, the smell of this sauteing is dynamite. To that, I'm going to add probably a good half to full cup of parsley, fresh parsley chopped. It's probably the equivalent of about a quarter to a half of a bunch of fresh parsley. So I chop, chop that up, just kind of move it around in the pan. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of paprika and about one and a half to two teaspoons of sa sea salt, depending on how salty you like it. We like ours fairly salty, so I go a little heavy on that, but dial that back if you'd like. And then I'm just going to move it around for a few minutes, just kind of let it saute, let that garlic get nice and brown. Definitely don't want to burn it, um, so probably about three to four minutes. And then in a 9 by 13 pan that I've lined with aluminum foil, I just put about two plus or minus pounds of chicken drumsticks. And then honestly, guys, you're just going to pour that mixture over your chicken and then I do it with gloved hands so I don't get too messy, but you're just going to rub it all around and you really do want to make sure that you're get, getting every um, little inch, every part of that chicken. And sometimes I'll even peel back the skin a little bit and um, you know make sure I'm coating it there. I always like to make sure that I am placing my chicken with the skin side up so that way the fat sort of renders down. And then after about 45 to 50 minutes in a 425 degree oven, this is what they look like. So good, you can see all the juices have rendered. Don't miss out on those juices. Make sure to kind of drizzle that over your chicken before you serve it. I always like to put some more fresh parsley on top to give it you know, aesthetically pleasing and it also tastes really good. So to plate um, for dinner this particular night, we just had the chicken with some roasted potatoes and some fresh steamed green beans and it was so good. Girls loved it. My husband loved it. This is a really simple chicken dish that has so much flavor. And just that little extra step of sauteing the garlic with the parsley and the spices in the beginning really sets it apart. Hope you guys like this. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. You know the drill. Hit the notification. You don't want to miss a video. Also, make sure you check out the link in the description. It's got my latest cookbook, which has a ton of simple, easy recipes your whole family will love. See you next week, guys.